Hello, I'm Chef Ozzy, and today I'm going to be cooking a cake. This here is the cake I'm making. It's a Douglas chocolate cake. Let's get right into it. First thing you're going to have to do is set your oven to bake 350. Then you're going to get a measuring cup. You're going to fill your water to exactly one cup and one fourth a cup. Then you're going to pour the water into a bowl. Like so. You're going to take canola or vegetable oil and fill your measuring cup half a cup full. And in my case, I'm using canola oil. Look at this. I got it at exactly a half cup. Then you're going to want to add vegetable or canola oil to your water in the bowl. Then you want to take three eggs. You can see here that I am going to be smelling and testing the quality of the eggs. That one's good. that one too. Then you want to take your eggs, smack them on the table, and then pour them into a bowl. That one exploded all over. Then you're going to want to do the same with the other two. That one exploded too, except the other way. You're going to mix it just like what I did, and then it will look something like this. Except I forgot to add the cake mix, so don't forget to add that. Oil your pan, so then it looks something like this, and smear it around, even on the side, so it doesn't stick. Then you're going to pour the mix into your pan, and you're just going to have the cake mix in it, because I forgot, and it ended up leaking all over the counter. And if you still forgot to put the cake mix in, well, just add it in while it's in the pan. Start mixing it. Then open the oven and put the cake batter in, hoping that it doesn't leak. Once your cake batter is in, it takes around 25 to 30 minutes for it to cook. When you take it out, if it looks something like this, and you're going to take a toothpick and poke it and it becomes clean and good. Then wait about 5 to 10 minutes, then ice it. Then put it on a plate. It didn't turn out as good as we planned, but it's been about 20 minutes, and we're ready to start icing. Obviously, I can't do this, because I'm a puppet dog. So my human quickly opened the Betty Crocker icing, and then start to ice away. But it was kind of falling apart, so... We decide to wait around 20 more minutes. 20 minutes later, my human started to ice again. It was a little bit better, but it was still about the same, so our cake wasn't looking too good. This is what our cake looked like after about 10 minutes of trying to ice it. Um, I would just say don't eat it, especially if you're a dog. I really hope you had fun cooking with me today, 
And next time on Chef Ozzy, we will definitely try and make something better. Bye, guys.